Today we're going to be going over homework problems with combinations. And after you see them worked out, you'll be able to do them yourself fairly easily. If you haven't already, please take a second and subscribe to this channel. Let's begin now on MathCat. Three, two, one. Let's look at this problem. How many four letter combinations are possible from the first nine letters of the alphabet? To figure combinations, you first have to figure out your universe of numbers, n, and then how many choices you're going to be taking, r. In this case, your universe is nine letters of the alphabet, nine, and you're going to be making four letter combinations, two, three, four. So r equals four. n equals nine, r equals four. Our formula for combinations is n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. n is 9 factorial divided by r is 4, 9 minus 4 is 5 factorial times r which is 4 factorial. Let's expand that. 9 factorial is 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 on down. Let's expand 5 factorial because it has the most numbers in it and these will all cancel and we're left with 4 factorial in the denominator. 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 is 3024 and 4 times 3 times 2 is 24. 3024 divided by 24, 126. 126 four letter combinations possible from the first nine letters of the alphabet. In this problem, Grace needs to select six other players on her team from ten other students. How many different teams can she make? When choosing the difference between combination and permutation, you look to see, first of all, is there any order of selection? Is there a captain, a co-captain, or anything like that? No, it's just six students that are going to be selected with no order. So we use combinations. So we have to find out what our n is, our universe of numbers, and r the number of selections that we're going to make. Here we have 10 students to pick from, so our universe of numbers is 10, n is 10, and we're going to be selecting six other players. So r equals 6. Our formula for combination is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial times r factorial. n in this case is 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 6 is 4 factorial and r is 6 factorial. Let's expand that. 10 factorial divided by, let's take 6 factorial first because that will cancel the most numbers. Cancel those and we're left with 4 factorial. 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 is 5040 and 4 times 3 times 2 is 24. 5040 divided by 24 is 210. Grace can select 210 different combinations of players from 10 other students. Let's look at this problem. How many ways can you select four items out of a hat if there are six items in the hat? Combination or permutation? You have six random things in a hat. The way this question is worded, if you selected two, three, four, and five at once, it wouldn't matter if you selected four, two, three, five. That's the same thing. So in combinations, order doesn't matter. So whether we select two, three, four, five, or four, two, three, five, we selected the same four items. So we want to use combinations. So we have to figure out what our universe is. N is our universe, and R are the number of choices. Well, there are six items in the hat. So our universe of items is six, N is six, and we want to select four items. So R is four. Our formula for combinations is N factorial divided by N minus R factorial times R factorial. N is six factorial. N minus R, 6 minus 4 is 2 factorial, and R is 4 factorial. Let's expand that, 6 factorial. Let's expand 4 factorial first because we'll cancel the most numbers that way. Cancel, and we're left with 2 factorial in the bottom. So the answer is 6 times 5 is 30, 2 times 1 is 2. So there are 15 different combinations of things that we can pull out of a hat if there are six items in the hat and we're pulling out four at a time. 